Tommy Chong is more than a comedian. He is an entrepreneur. He's a businessman. He is all over the cannabis industry from one end to the other. And his latest endeavor is called Eighth Icon. It's which his comedian partner. And now you, you guys are moving into dispensaries. Let's talk about that because you already had the Tommy Chong Cannabis Company. So what? Oh made yeah, you yeah, it, it's still going. Right, sure. right. So what made you decide to do the dispensary business as well? Well, a couple of reasons. Uh, you know, uh, Cheech and I uh, together. You know, we're the Cheech and Chong brand is is priceless. You know, it's it's uh, been around longer than most people. And uh, we, we hesitated getting in early because uh, it was too early. You know, it was hard to see where things were going. And now that we see where things are going now, it's time for us to come in and do it right for everybody. You know, because, uh, you know, when you do anything just for the money, it's not going to last. Uh, but because Cheech and I, you know, our, our love has always been the weed. And, uh, and we've always fantasized on how we would sell it. You know, one of our movies, we had a pot cafe in Amsterdam. Another movie, we had a uh, ice cream business that were selling weed on the side. <clears throat> and so we've been sort of waiting for the right combination of people to, to come in and do it right. And now we got it. And what we're doing, we're opening up in, uh, in Cheech and Chong territory, which is LA and San Francisco. And then we're gonna start with San Francisco, work to LA, and then we're gonna conquer the world. We're, we're gonna, weed is gonna save the world. And, and it's gonna be the Cheech and Chong dispensaries that uh, spearhead everything. And it sounds like the dispensaries are, are almost an homage to your comedy past. Uh, it sounds like you're going to have things there, uh, merchandise, and maybe even perhaps some movie props. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's, it's one of those things. Uh, what we did with Up in Smoke was, with, all the, with everything, it was sort of like timeless and priceless, uh, especially uh, Up in Smoke. Because, you know, visually, we, we, we sort of like educated the world on, on the, 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 the beauty and the humor of, of not only marijuana, but the marijuana culture. Yeah, we're going to be selling merch and we're going to be selling the, the, the product itself. Mm -hmm. But more than anything, we're, we're going to keep reminding people of how spiritually inclined this plant is and how it should be treated with that reverence that you do give uh, anything sacred. So do you think that, that approach is going to make you more successful with this endeavor than some of the other celebrities that have endorsed cannabis? Because we've certainly seen a few other celebrities endorse cannabis um, and, and put their names on products and maybe they had something to do with it. Some of them had very little to do with it and just kind of slapped their name on a product. And yeah. so there's been a little bit of a backlash within the industry towards these, you know, endorsements or these licensing deals, really. Um, do you feel that you're uh, bringing a little more authenticity to the brand than maybe well, some of well, well, for sure. The thing is, see, Cheech and I, we, we staked out our claim. We were are marijuana. There's no doubt about it. You know, when you say Cheech and Chong, it's synonymous with, with the plant itself. The other celebrities, although, you know, they smoked it, they, you know, they didn't make their living like we did. You know, they, they had songs, they had, they're, they're singers, they were uh, musicians, you know, they're, they were singing. Yeah, yeah, sure, Bob Marley, you know, in the ganja, but they're still the, the, their, their main thing is singing and playing music. Well, Cheech and Chong, <laughs> we, we play music, but what do we sing about? Marijuana. <laughs> right, and, right. And uh, everything was geared, really, uh, to, to opening people's uh, minds to, to the culture, you know, 
Well, yeah, you're very it, brave in, in doing that. Like you owned it, you embraced it, and yeah. you weren't ashamed of it. You, you said, this no. is who we are, this is what we're doing. And I think that that is the authenticity that people in the industry respect because you know, exactly. during the Reagan years and the, the just say no, you continued to be who you were. Yeah. I can't wait until we can travel again and I can come to a Cheech and Chon dispensary. Oh, you're going to love them. They're, they're going to be so, so much fun because but, but we're, we're not just going to sell the best product in the world, but we're going to turn people on to the best lifestyles. But it's been a, a, a wonderful experience for me, a wonderful journey. And, and it's not over. It's, it's still going. Absolutely. I can tell you've got a long ways to go. Thank you so much, Tommy. Again, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to speak with me and to give the time to Green Market Report. Well, you've got my number. So anytime you need me, I'm here. Thank you.